taking this half bath from drab to fab with Art House. Well, hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Look who I have with me, my hubby. <laughs> We are tackling another project in the home. I love that. A company reached out to me by the name of Art House to look at their website and their product. And their product is wallpaper. I've never done wallpaper before in any of my homes. So this is going to be fun. Uh, so when they reached out to me, I really wanted to try it. So if you are interested in seeing what we're going to do with this wallpaper, just keep on watching. So this is the wallpaper that I selected. It is beautiful. It is a peel and stick. Um, I'm hoping that is easier to deal with. We'll see. But I am so excited. To get this project done we will be doing our half bath wall the wall that you see when you come into that space we want to accent wall in there so i think it's going to be beautiful let me share with you the before of this bathroom Right now, I'm gonna share with you the tools that we will need to do this project. And these are the tools we'll be using for this project. A very long level. Of course, our wallpaper. We have two rolls, a utility knife and blades. You need a tape measure, you need a scraper of course we have a set here we also have the exacto knife and an allen wrench and we also will be pulling out of course a pencil or a pen to score the wall so right now i'm going to empty out the space i'm going to take the hardware down so it'll be much, much easier. Somebody's potty training. It's only 20 inches lump wide. So if you start at the wall, you're going to be here, here, and here, and then you're going to have that much left over. So I would suggest we start in the middle, right here. But you got, you're going to have 
only this much left over on the end. So which side do you want? Okay. The, can we score the 20, 20, 20? Yes. So we'll know exactly, but I would prefer where, where we score it at to start it in the middle. And I want that shorter end on this side versus over here. Because this is your IV. Right. This, yeah. Even though this is the focal wall, when you come in here, you're looking at the mirror, you're not looking at this side so much. <laughs> right, so but you're I, not gonna notice it because it's gonna be overlapped. I'm sure of that. Well, that's fine. But um, I would prefer to score the wall, mm -hmm. uh, the 20, 20, 20. It's a good thing to take the measurement of the wall first. Right. Um, and hubby did that. And also you need to know <laughs> that no wall is perfect, okay? They are not, what they call what, square? Right, they're not square, they're, and even the lines are not. Not square. perfect, so you're gonna have to adjust with that. All right. And now this wallpaper is 34 square feet. We got two rolls of it, and I believe we had 49 square feet when I measured it. Okay. It's seven feet that way and seven feet that way. Going down, so vertical and horizontal. Yes. So, vertical. That's, 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 that's the seven feet, really, but it was only by a matter of inches. Okay. But I, I measure up so that you won't be short. All right, guys. You can also see I left the hardware here for the tile bar and different things like the uh, pictures and everything. So I'll know exactly what they where they need to go and I'm just gonna cut around this so you won't see it up under the paper anyway. All right, we're gonna get to it. Now he's using the level to make sure we have the line for the wallpaper. And he really only needs to do this the first time, but for the first piece, to make sure that first piece goes up straight. So the toughest part I heard is to get this backing <laughs> off of the wallpaper. I've taken my nails off, y'all, because I knew I was doing this project, and it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> Not difficult at all. But let's see, I don't want to speak too soon. Let me pull it down just a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit. I think that's enough that's for enough. now, so I can get it up there. Let me turn around, I am on my step ladder, and I'm gonna make sure I'm hitting that line. Just a smidge more. I'm on that line. I'm on that line. Yes, you're on that line. Okay, don't pull it all the way down yet. I'm not on that line. See? Right. And I'm going to work it as I come down. I'm going to pull the backing off. Little by little. Working bubbles out. I'm using a plastic stri scraper, excuse me. Now I know I'm gonna hit that uh, hardware for my towel bar in shortly. <laughs> and we'll do cuts around it. But the object for this to do a little by little, 
Don't rush. Patience. Patience is key. So I know that hardware is right there. All right. Right there. So I'm going to do a little cut around it. You just put an X on it with the exacto knife. Exacto knife. Okay, my first little hiccup here is right here cutting around of this. So I'm going to do a little patchwork. Being real and honest, like I said, this is my first time doing this. So hopefully you won't be able to tell as much. All right. First hiccup. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. All right, he's gonna start cutting. All right, one piece up. About, what, three more to go? Three more to go. <laughs> Loving it so far, so I am excited. All right, second piece. So the object is to match up the pattern. All right, I'm gonna try to match up this pattern. overlap it a bit. All right. All right, guys, we have two, and we have two left to do, and we will be done with hanging this wallpaper, pill and stick. So we're gonna finish this up. You've seen how we cut around, you know, little obstacles. So we're just gonna knock this on out and bring you back when we're finished. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, hardware is going back on. And then we will give you the reveal. So are you ready for the reveal? Well, here it is. The beautiful wallpaper from Art House. It is absolutely gorgeous.
it definitely gives you that wow factor I'm loving it loving it I love that it's like a textured wallpaper and I'm loving that pattern because it's so luxe I often say um, that every space should give you that when you walk into a room each room should give you that wow factor Now guys, we are um, looking to change this cabinet in here. I want something a little prettier. And we're looking to change um, this pedal stool sink to a cabinet. I need the storage. <laughs> now right now, I am, I hope, I'm gonna switch out this mirror with another mirror that I have in my home, as well as change out the globes on that light fixture, just to give me a different look. I'm kind of over that type of bling, all right? But I am loving this wallpaper. All right, guys, this is what I'm changing to. This beautiful globe. Picked up three from Lowe's. Uh, they're a little pricey, but I'm like, hey, get what you want. This is your home. So I'm ex absolutely loving this too. They were around $20 a piece. It was a splurge, but I wanted something different. All right, we are going into the finished bathroom. So I'm going to show you around. Now guys, I am on the search for another cabinet and hopefully that cabinet will match the vanity that I am in search for. I'm not going to rush. I'm going to find exactly what I want, but until then, we will make do. Um, I'm just going to share with you. I just put a candle here. Kind of mimics the wallpaper somewhat. <laughs> Bringing me a little bling to of the area. Now, panning over, this wallpaper is so, so beautiful to me. It gives me <laughs> that wow factor that I love. I am planning on putting a piece of artwork on the wall once I find it, um, but I right now will enjoy the beauty of this wallpaper. I'm going to let it stand alone for a while. Now down below is that towel bar with some towels that I was playing around with. I'm actually loving. <laughs> this towel design I am gonna tighten this up a little bit but I'm loving it loving it and of course I had to play with my <laughs> bath tissue put putting that imprint on the tissue for the first person that comes in here and uses this space now I kept this stand because again it's storage for me for right now um, having this pedestal sink here I have no storage so I have extra bath tissue 
have some containers um, with essentials in them. And for beauty, I have this floral piece, which is just a small ginger jar and yellow flowers, peonies flowers from Amazon. And this soap and lotion set with tray I picked up from Target. Now moving above the pedestal, this is a mirror. I've been looking for mirrors for about a month or so to go in this space and I haven't found one yet. So I took this one out of my closet and I'm loving it. So it was meant for me <laughs> not to find a mirror because this is beautiful. And above it uh, is the light fixture, the light fixture itself I had already. I just changed the globes. Globes again came from Lowe's. They were a little pricey, $20 and some change a piece, but I love it. <laughs> Sometimes you can splurge on things that you really, really love. There's nothing wrong with it. But guys, this is the bathroom half bath and I am loving this showstopper of this wallpaper. I would like to thank Art House for the opportunity to take a look at their products. If you are interested in this wallpaper and or any other wallpaper, I will have Art House's website listed in my description box down below as well as a discount code for all of my blesties. I absolutely love it and yes I'm loving the wow factor. All right guys another project checked off of our to-do list. Let me know what you think about this half bath. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media sites and shop my Amazon store. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys, have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there and I will talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.